Well, Puff Alva here again, and uh, today I'm going to move to Africa, and I'm going to go to Tanzania, and that's where all our Kilimanjaro safaris and tropical island uh, holidays actually occur. And I'm going to pass over to our manager in Tanzania and get an update on it. Uh, and Samira, uh, I'm going to pass it over to you now in a sec, but can you tell us, and I suppose the most important thing is, what's happening? You know, what are the debts? You know, how affected is Tanzania? And in and, and, and fact, how are you and your family? Over to you, Samira. Good morning, Pat. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm doing fine now, family. We are all doing great. Everybody's indoors, uh, not going out. Kids are no school at the moment, so we are all just inside the house. Um, at the moment, we have in Tanzania 509 cases and 21 deaths, and uh, everything is closed. Like our airports are no flights coming in or going out internationally. We still have uh, some of the internal flights going within the country only. Uh, and at the moment, still people are practicing um, social distancing, uh, washing hands, sanitizing, everything. Yeah. So. And can I ask, when, when is uh, when are the government looking at releasing some of those restrictions? Is 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 there is there movement? You know, like I know, like is it uh, what you say, five hundred and nine uh, cases uh, confirmed, and uh, is it twenty one that you said twenty one died? You know, which is very little in a like in a 59 million person population, but it's very very important because I know Africa. If this takes off, you know, you won't have the capacity to deal with it like in a pandemic, uh, mm. you know, issue. So, you know, how are the government with restrictions? Are they talking about lifting some of them, or are they talking about you know holding a tighter grip? And then you know, because like I've been talking to the to the flight companies and. You know, anyone that wants to hear that can go to our blog yesterday uh, with Kira Foley. So, can you tell us what's the government's up-to-date position? Uh, you know, we, we as I as I said, uh, Tanzania didn't really have a lockdown. So, uh, our president says everything should run as normal. But as it as a in the tourism industry and we are depending on customers who are abroad and you are on lockdown so we are the quiet ones around so uh, but the restrictions are there everybody has to wear masks when you go out uh, sanitize as much as possible wash hands uh, something like uh, in, in uh, Kilimanjaro National Park they are doing screening of temperatures Washing hands, uh, wearing masks is is something very important for them uh, and for for all the, the tourists coming okay. in the future. Yeah. So anyway, like it looks like that Kilimanjaro is still running. So we have hopes if it's a case that we're released because the most important thing to us as coming to your country is that we are safe and in actual fact that we're safe to fly. Uh, hopefully. You know, according to our interviews yesterday about the flights, that they're coming back in some sort of way in July. Now, we've cancelled everything up to July, as you know yourself, which is quite devastating for you. But we have to yeah. actually act like this. And then can I ask safaris? It's the same thing, I presume, like that social distancing, you know, and, yeah. and things like that. It must be very, very hard for all of those hotels, like in and around Gorongora, on the Serengeti, so, yeah. what's the update on that? Are there still o are the hotels still open there? No, hotels were closed from March, and uh, they said they will open in June, and they are going to do strict uh, measures, uh, social distancing, sanitizing, and washing hands regularly. Okay, so so it, is, so it is the same as here, you know. So yeah. we have to wait. And we will keep all of you that are listening in updated on that because I know some of you just want to go on a safari or on a, a tropical island to Zanzibar. Can I ask a question? How is Zanzibar going at the moment? Uh, Zanzibar has uh, 134 cases at the moment. 
Yeah, and, and it's on, it's it's on, on lockdown. lockdown. Okay, so like basically there's nothing we can do there either. So, nothing there. so we'll see what happens next. Uh, I will update you what what is really going on and if they're going to open by, by the time it's next month, June, if they're going to start running. Okay, well, thank you very much. You know, I think the most important thing like for you and your family is to stay safe. And, and you too, Pat. Yeah, and... <laughs> We will keep ye updated in relation to what's happening in Africa and in Tanzania. Today we're coming from Arusha uh, with her, uh, with with Samira, from yeah. you know letting us know what's happening, and we will be back to her. So I like, keep posted, and we'll keep you updated. As in for us, everything in relation to going to Tanzania is now cancelled, and we, anyone that we haven't spoke to or any people interested. It's closed until probably the end of July, until we get more flight uh, information back. Hopefully, hopefully that we will get out in um, August, September and October. But if not, yeah. you know, we will just deal with that. So on that note, Jumbo, and, uh, and as That's we said, like, you know, I, I, I love being in Africa because there's a, like we sing a song, Jumbo, Jumbo, yeah. Habari Ghani. Muzuri sana, kwan pagani, pagani buishna, Kilimanjaro, akuna matata. On that note, Jumbo, see you soon, and uh, see you soon, Pat. Stay safe and strong. Well, strong of all. Bye bye.